Oh, wow. All right. You know, I'm gonna stop doing that. I don't know if I'm more intrigued in the more melancholy things in life or the more negative things in life. I'm definitely not 100% positive and I do enjoy something about depression, sadness, melancholy that really intrigues me. Poverty, very interesting to me. Destruction, conflict, all these negative things. Those are the most interesting to me. So this is what I've seen. The United States does not have many homes. Now before you start getting smart, I don't mean houses, I mean homes. You buy a house or you mortgage a house for 30 to 40 years and you have to live in that house for 30 or 40 years until you pay it off. What's worst is if you do not qualify to buy a house, you end up renting for the for your whole life there's a a person well a couple that I know they lived in an apartment complex for about 20 to 30 years here in California in Los Angeles and they paid upwards to about four hundred thousand dollars in the time that they were living in an apartment it was a two-bedroom apartment um, in LA County they moved and the children moved some of the children bought houses or mortgaged houses see it sounds like um, a lot of people say I bought a house actually you mortgaged a house you don't own a house until you pay it off which takes about 30 to 40 years some say some people say oh you can pay it off in 10 20 years it doesn't happen much it's not common what's common is people mortgage their house they pay it for they pay it for about 20 years they can't pay no more they take out the equity, they take another loan out, and then they're stuck with another 20 years of payments. Now, what I said was, the United States does not have that many homes. I see a lot of people that just can't find a place that they call home. Most of the time because they're just not happy where they live. You can have a beautiful house, but your neighborhood can hate you. And this does not this does not uh this does not discriminate just on Mexicans or blacks or Asians. This also could happen to white people that just feel like they're a stranger in their own city. I've I've lived in Los Angeles for most of my life and I love living here. And I've lived here through the bad and through the good 
and then back to the bad and the bad and the bad and the good very little good but it's because my generation didn't really see that much good in it and it was completely capitalized my my life was completely capitalized before I made a purchase and before I made a job so before I had a job so I never really had a chance but I'm here now I have a house we're doing good we're doing decent does this house feel like my home I'm gonna be honest. I have a, I'm probably surrounded about, I'm surrounded by, what, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm surrounded a, around a bunch of, about nine families. In my, in my house so I have nine neighbors that are very close for me one is to the right one is to the left three are across and then three in the back I haven't talked to any of them ever well I've talked to them here and there like one one or two but we're not friends or nothing when I was younger when I was a kid, this is going to get fucking depressing, but it's not meant to be depressing. It's just meant to be observant. When I was a kid, you make friends, you go to their houses, you sleep over their houses, you have fun. But most people move away. A lot of, a lot of my friends moved away some of them stood here some of them went to other counties and people spread out now can I go with my friends to their houses and hang out I suppose I could but I don't make the effort <laughs> That's a problem. I could have lots of friends. And for the most of most of my life I have a few good I have a few good friends. I should have had more because life is pretty long. Life is a lot longer than I thought. And you kind of need friends to kind of pass the time till death. Now this sounds bad. It's not supposed to be bad, but... What I'm trying to say is... Life is long, you need friends. You need entertainment, you need happiness. You need compassion, I mean com camaraderie. You need all kinds of stuff. But what I've noticed with social media and people opening up about their lives and me just looking around, it seems like we are alien to the earth because we're the only species that pays rent and we don't have homes and our house can be taken away by the government whenever the hell we mess up or a calamity hits us and since we live in a capitalistic society instead of a house being free which it can be if we all built for each other since we live in a capitalistic society, we compete against each other. That's what capitalism is. It's competing one with another. 